All right, what the hell is going on YouTube? Today, I'm showing you the easy way to fix a cracked rim. So, this rimp right here is off of the old Legacy there. And where is my crack? Oh, it's right, right there. Just kidding, I just saw it. There it is. Make sure you can see that on camera. Where is it? There. So, what we're gonna do is get a wire brush and kind of sand it down here. And then we're just gonna JB weld it. I hope I have some JB weld left. But yeah, this is the easy way. This isn't gonna be the most professional way to do it, but this is how to stop a leak and then at least provide a little bit of strength for that crack so it doesn't keep cracking. So here goes. Okay, choose your weapon. Start with this one. Okay, it's looking pretty good there. Now we'll grab our handy dandy microfiber, a little bit of spit. And we'll just wipe her down, clean her off. There we are. And now we'll get a piece of JB Weld. I'll check back in in a sec. Okay, so you don't need very much. I'm just cutting a very thin little elephant leg pancake here. That should be good. Okay, let the JB Weld do its magic here. Yeah, the reason you don't want to overdo it and use a whole bunch is because you don't want to throw off the weight of the wheel too much. I'm not rebalancing this wheel, obviously. I don't have a wheel balancer so it's just getting the old fix up and then it's gonna go in the car okay now we're gonna kind of roll it into a ball here stick it just kind of where that crack is so it seats in there and we'll just kind of work it in on the crack crack on our wheel. So I'm gonna wait probably 24 hours or so just to be safe before I put air in this tire. And there you go. That's the easy way to fix a crack in your rim without taking it in and them charging you 100 bucks or so. Quick and easy. See you next time.